There's plenty of freedom. There's freedom to not even show up to class and not get in trouble. Yeah. I feel oh, like wow. you'd probably get some weird look if you started singing in the middle of class. <laughs> yeah, but you can do it. Oh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube where kids do that. You'd probably still get some dirty looks. <laughs> so I could come to class oh, and put oh, a, an early morning class. People come with a computer that's not a YouTube video the entire time, but no one can do anything about it. All right, we better do some math. We just did. We did yeah, we did a whole thing. Well, you did not see math. Other, before. other than in pizza bath. Ben still hasn't shown up, so I can't ask him the question yet. Well, if it took us this long, I think we could get this. Done. Oh, it didn't take us that long. That was a quick calculation. Uh, it's also really quick because we had a calculator too. So, just well, remember. Well, we just remember, pe uh, people <laughs> used to do this by hand, you know, and that's why scientific notation was invented because it allows you to do that math really quickly. Chapter five, practice test answers. Where do you see that? Uh, on your screen. Oh. All right, any questions on the homework? Wait, we're doing our uh, 17 and 18. All right, let's take a look at 17 and 18. Yeah, I had a rough time on 18. I think that's 17. I accidentally did something wrong. How do you know it's wrong? Because I accidentally did the classroom exercise, so like half of the homework. Oh, that happens. That happens. I thought it was 16.5, but I'm probably wrong on that one. So. On which one? 18. You know, the other thing about the calculation that strikes me is the fact that, I mean, we literally just calculated how much food it requires to keep humanity alive. And we literally didn't get a number that's that impressive. Meaning like, we didn't get like, if the pizza was at large, it could feed us for a million years. We thought it would only feed us for 199 days. We're gonna run out of food. So I mean, think about that. So so that means that, I mean, if you when you fly on an airplane, you look down, you see farmlands. I mean, that's the reason why is because it takes a heck of a lot of area to grow enough food keep people alive I mean, on the planet. Technically, we don't need that much food to keep us alive, because you only really need, like, half of that. So, yeah, like, one, you really only need one meal Well, then we, we would have to investigate how many calories in the pizza and what would be the minimum requirement. I'm just saying three personal pizzas is probably pretty close for an adult. Not for a kid, maybe, but for an adult. Um, and remember that our pizza would have covered the entire oceans, too. You know, we don't we fish in the ocean, obviously, but we don't we don't grow crops. Well, to some extent, we we do grow crops in the ocean. We grow fish. We grow um, kelp, kelp, Far. seaweed. Oh, yeah. right. um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I would I would I would if I you had guessed from an intuitive answer for me, I would have said it would have been thousands, not hundreds. So I've never done that calculation before, but that's kind of interesting. You know, that's a pretty darn big pizza too. I mean, you think about. You know, they say, you know, the, the uh, is it two thirds or is it two thirds of the earth is covered with water? Something like that? Yeah. That's not that, that's a lot of water, right? Meaning that it's, we don't have a lot of room to grow crops if, if water takes up that amount of space. Stupid water. Why do you always have to ruin everything? Well, then that's where yummy fish come from, too, so. Ah, it's a double edged All right, which one am I looking at? 17 and 18. All right, 17. 16 and so I believe you're given this picture, and you have one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, and these are congruent, 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 and the other side's congruent, congruent, congruent. Oh, yeah, and, and A, D, B, E, and E, yeah. So you're told that A, B, which is this piece, is X plus three, and you're told that B, E is X plus Y. I don't know if this is a system, but it might be. And CF is 36. So I would just I would just do this pieces by piece parts. Um, oh, I can't do it. Well, if you notice from here to here is a trapezoid. Yeah. So I'll just write that equation. So that would give us what? Um, X plus Y 
would be equal to over two uh, this piece plus this piece. Yeah. So 30, uh, x plus 39, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can't solve this one because it's got a y. So yeah, somehow we got a, a, tri a triangle of it. And then if you cover that up, we also have that triangle. So we also get a second equation that would say that, now I'm going to use it without the, the half. I'm going to say double that. So 2x plus 6 is equal to x plus y. Now I have two different equations. I can set up a system of equations. So this is just going to be a, an algebra problem. Um, I'm going to get this in, so that um, uh, the x's and the y's are on the left side. There's lots of different ways of doing this. So I'm going to move this x and this y to this side, move that 6 to that side. So that can give me x minus y is equal to negative 6. You see, or 2x, sorry. No. Yeah, 2x. I, no, uh, I, I moved the, uh, I, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So first, multiply both sides by 2. So we get 2x plus 2y is equal to x plus 39. Move that x to that side. So we get x plus 2y is equal to 39. I hope I haven't made a mistake. I think that's right. We'll write that underneath here. So x plus, actually what I'm going to do is, what do you want to match, the x's or the y's? So I'm going to multiply this through by negative 1. So that when I add, it cancels the, the x's. Or you can just subtract the two equations. I can, but then I might create a mess a negative up. So negative x minus 2y is equal to negative 39. Now when I add, I get negative 3y is equal to negative 45. Is that right? So therefore, y is equal to 15. Okay. Now take that and plug it in any one of that equation or that one. I'm going to use that one. It's friendlier. So we get 2x, where am I lost? Actually, I could plug it into this one if I wanted to. I'm plugging it into this one. So I get x minus 15 is equal to negative 6. So therefore, x is equal to add 9. Is that right? Yep. So I'm getting 15 and 9. Is that right? Yep, that's what I got. That's what it is. There you go. That was 17. Uh, ben, you on yet? I got close. Not really. What was the other one? 18. 16. I mean, I'm going to bet that that uh, that uh, it's done the same way, but let's see. That's a lot of math here. Now, that's a lot of math. So what are we given? Um, a D is X plus Y. So, the so same thing, X plus Y, okay. And B E is 20. CF is 4x minus y. And you're supposed to figure out what CF is. And that's the bottom? Yes. Okay. So we got to figure out what x and y is. So oh, it's the okay. same stuff. I mean, so the two equations would be double this is equal to that. So 2x plus 2y is equal to 20. And the second one would be um, this plus this. 20. So that would be what? 5x. Wait, hold up. Yeah. 5x is equal to 10. I'm just doing the. And then you just get x. Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. Um, Over 2. 5x divided by 2 is equal to 20. There we go. No, 5x equals 10. No, 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 you're right, you're right there. Okay? Yeah. So therefore, 5x is equal to 40, therefore, x is equal to 8. Now we just need y. So then we uh, I gotta use this one, I guess, because I lost my y's over there. So uh, plug that into that one. So I get 16 plus 2y is equal to 20. So 2y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 2. So therefore, we get what? Uh, 32 minus 2 is 30. Is that right? Wait, we already have one. That's right. Wait, so what are we solving for? Uh, we need to find how long this piece is. Oh, so this was 8, so 32 minus 2 is equal to 30. What do you know? That was fun, sort of. All right, anything else? All right, let's go over this. 1 to 25. 1 is 12, 2 is 19, 3 is 15, 4 is 5, 5 is 9, 6 is 5. 7 is 4, 8 is 5, 9 is 6. Uh, three answers for 10 are 57, 123, 123.
Number 11, you find out that x is equal to 10, therefore you get 40, 40, 140, 140. Just remember the base angles, that's the bottom two and the top two are exactly the same. Unless the trapezoid is flipped on its side, they will be left side, right side. 12 was high and hard because they're not giving you any numbers. They just wanted you to set up the, the, the statement that the median of the triangle is one half the base. So AD would equal be, be equal to one half B. And then the same type of statement for 13, except for the trapezoid. So you get the B is equal to AD plus CF all over two. Uh, 14 is 14 and 21. 15 is 13 and 39. 16 is 6 and 18. We did 17 and 18. Uh, 19, CF is 3. Uh, 3 times AD, sorry. 3 times AD. But 17 does not equal 3 times 5. So, can't do that. Or because AD has to be how many BD? Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, 20... Uh, book answer, since BE is, is it equal to double AD and CF is equal to three times AD, uh, if X is greater than negative half is the solution, or any any X greater than negative half is the solution. Did you do, did you find 21 through 25 fun? Uh, yeah. All right, so what'd you get for an answer 21? Rectangle. It's a rectangle. What'd you get for 22? Wait, wouldn't it be a square? Okay, so the rhombus is defined as a one with quadrilateral with equal sides. No, all sides are congruent. All sides are congruent. I'm going to make mine uh, 15 centimeters. So let's see, 15 centimeters, and another 15 centimeters. Oh, I should have made it 16. Fine. I got to take that one. Five and a half point, and then another 16. And if I did this kind of close, we should be at 16 and we're a little bit less. So 16 would be right here. So I need to go right there. So that one needs to go. Did I do it right? Yes, right there. Okay, so there's my rhombus. So it says find the midpoint. So I find the midpoint, I'm eyeballing this. And then when I play connect the dots, I make a Oh, okay, that's rectangle. what you were supposed to do. I thought you were just supposed to put it down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, rhombus is a rectangle. A rectangle ends up being a rhombus. So they're kind of inverse of each other. An isosceles trapezoid ends up being, uh, they're claiming it's a rhombus. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, a non-isosceles trapezoid a bit more remarkable, ends up being a parallelogram. And this is the more remarkable one. Check this out. If you just draw it four sides, one, two, uh, three, four. Let's make this one clearly not. So it's not a trapezoid. It's just got four sides. Oh, I got to make this not parallel. There we go. You agree that's nothing except four sides? Yep. If you play connect the dots, and it doesn't matter how you draw it, as long as it's got four sides, then we play connect the dots. It's crazy. Parallelogram. It's parallelogram. It looks like a rectangle there, but it's parallelogram. You get a parallelogram each time. So that was 25. Any quadrilateral with no congruent sides, you get a parallelogram. And then the last one was 28. Uh, I had to look at it. Because you're supposed to draw stuff. And they finally talk about a kite. Not sure why they leave that off to a, a long written exercise 28 and 29. I know, but they never say anything about kites except for a question. Even theorem. though kites there are there should the be best. theorems, right? There's a lot of stuff that I figured out that should be there. It says discover state and prove whatever you can about the diagonals of a kite. So what did you get? I got that the diagonals are perpendicular. The diagonals are perpendicular. And then I got that the opposite sides are congruent, except for the ones on the side. The, well, the, one of the well, it says, what can you tell about the diagonals, not the... It said diagonals and angles. Oh, and angles. Uh, well, what's your guesstimate on the angles? Well, the, if, you, well if you draw... Well, so here's a kite. Okay. What can you take a guess about 
So the, the diagonals are perpendicular, and then the two angles on this, the right and left side on yours are congruent. But not these two? No, not those two. And then also the um, well, what can one, you take of the a guess at one of the diagonals bisects one of them. Angle bisectors. What do you mean? Bisects the angles. Clearly, the so, the diagonals. Oh, you say and yeah, the diagonals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Saying, so the shorter one I'm just is the bisected. One is bisected. Right. But we also get that for the longer one, it bisects the angles. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. All right. So there's lots of things you can say about the kite, and choose not to. All right. That was it. You on yet? What? He sent me an email earlier. It said that he was joined. He's playing Minecraft right he now. He is not on. Interesting. Well, maybe because we're getting two review day, he doesn't feel a need to be here. Yeah, he well, no, it said he had joined earlier, and it said he was waiting to join. Oh, he might have found that a technical issue with his pizza problem. So maybe. Maybe. You know, pizza's never a problem. I agree to. I'm probably gonna have pizza tonight. Okay. Um. So your homework, obviously. Uh, I said we're gonna do the practice test today. Uh, that's going to be page 199, 1 through 18. I'll, I'll give you the answers. Uh, and then on Monday or Tuesday, we'll work on skills. So I'll just give you a worksheet that has, you know, stuff like this on. So here are the answers. I'm just going to say you, you need to really pay attention to this always, sometimes, never. Make sure that that um, um, table, right? is either in your notes or it's really super clear because these sometimes always never um most of those are drawn from that table and will destroy i do So how are you, I mean, clearly those are congruent, right? So how are you getting that, uh, the inside? And how did you get the inside? Because this bisects this. Well, how do you know that? It just looked like it from looking at it. I mean, that's just, I, I, bet. Mean, I don't know how I could have figured it out. Well, let's see. So here's your kite. You got the that, you got the that. Reflexive. So this triangle is equal to this triangle. Yeah. That's how you get that that angle is congruent to that. Yeah. Okay. So we're there. And then you also get that the angles bisect each other with that. You also get the angles bisect each other. Therefore, you also get that what? That no, you don't get that that's congruent to that. You just got to be careful with that one. There is a kite where that will be true. That well, yeah, but right. that's just the rectangle then, or just the. No, but I mean, you can you can get this. I mean, I can move these pieces out like this, right? And get it to where it matches that well, angle. That's not what I was saying. I was saying the one that goes from the top to bottom going through the congruent angle is is filled with this either that or that. Well, that's what we got. How are you we're getting that? Just using the triangles. If you just go like that, you can prove that. Well, I get to that's congruent to itself. I okay, now what? Draw another one through there. All right, so now I'm going to draw this. Well, clearly we got that's congruent to that, that's congruent to that, that's congruent to that. Yeah, look, you can use, um, well, I'm. I'm saying that. But we just cut this. We don't know if we cut it in half. Well, yeah, we know that those triangles are congruent. Which ones? The two ones to the left. Well, how do you got that? Because of the bisecting things. We don't know it bisects. But you already proved that the two triangles are congruent. So we proved that. CTC. So we proved that those two angles are congruent. We didn't prove we're bisected, though. No, by CPCTC, since this one is congruent to this one. So I've got right now that the top is congruent to the bottom. But we already can prove that the, can, that the triangles are congruent. So we can already say stuff about the other two angles. That we can say something about this angle is congruent to this angle. Yeah, so this angle we, is congruent to so this then angle. then we get that as bisector. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, no, no. The angle bisects. So we've got that this diagonal bisects these two angles. Absolutely. And then if we draw But if we draw angle, this. Now, since we have that, those, that angle is congruent with that angle, and then we do reflexive, we get SAS. We get SAS. Okay. Then, okay. Then, now we're tracking. Now we're tracking. So that's congruent to that one, and we, we can do the same thing for this one. Now we can one. say that the sides are congruent. Uh, so we get that uh, this is congruent to. No, no, no. Oh, so no. no. I was talking about the other, the two ones that are bisected by the middle piece. 
Oh, okay, okay. All right, I'll buy that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. But what we didn't prove is that this angle is congruent to that angle. Is it? Well, we can draw it, so, but there's only one special kite. Right. Because those two triangles are not congruent. They're not, but I'm saying that just think about this logically. Let's say this is 30 degrees. I can construct this so that yeah. I would make it yeah, some yeah. distance at 30. Yeah, I mean, there's always exceptions. So that would be the one, though. But clearly, there's other ones where that's, I mean, I can continue to fold these over like this, and I'm clearly not getting the same angle. And you can also make a kite that's a parallel kite. Um, so then you're going to get into well, arguments can, of people that will say that if we define a um, rhombus, what, yeah. yeah, you can make a rhombus. All right, and then the question is a rhombus four equal sides. The question is if you define a kite as having two pairs of congruent sides, then you might get into a semantic argument of, you know, we don't get an argument of our, our, our squares rectangles, right, because it meets that definition. But if you define a kite as having two pairs of congruent sides, you get argument of, is it a rhombus or is it a kite? Oh, okay. All right. But remember, on a uh, rhombus, we already know the diagonals bisect each other. Our diagonals are perpendicular to each other. All right.